Hi, welcome to HelpYourMath.com. Today we're going to do number 18. Now, number 18 calls for solving for x or the hypotenuse. Now, if you look at this triangle here, these are the same right triangles. This would be our a, our b, and our c. So we want to solve for c. To do that, we have Pythagoras' theorem, which is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Now, if we apply it to our triangle here, c is equal to x, then b equal to 4, and a equal to 6. Now, just plugging it in the same way. So, c squared, or x, is equal to a squared, 6, plus b squared, 4. So, c squared, or x, stays the same. 6 squared, 6 times 6 is 36, plus 4 squared, 4 times 4, 16. Combine these, equal to 52. Now, we need to get c to not be to the second power. To do that, we're going to take the square root of both sides. Take the square root of c squared, that's equal to c. Take the square root of 52. Now, if you look at this, there's no perfect square. So we need to think what two terms multiplied by to each other are going to equal to 52 and help simplify. So two terms are 4 times 13. So if we have in here 4 times 13, this is the same as that. Simplify it one step further. 13, there's nothing further it can be, that can be done. So that stays square root of 13. 4, square root of 4 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So we look at that, there's nothing further can be done. That's our C. So therefore, x is equal to 2 square root 13. And that's our final answer.